Hi Kids Fit Crew! I'm Hyvee Dietitian Katie bringing you back to the hydration station. What you eat matters, but so does what you drink. As a dietitian, I get to work with people and teach them how to be healthy not through just the foods they eat, but also the beverages they drink. When you think of hydration, you usually think of water, right? But you can hydrate your bodies in delicious and creative ways, like drinking a fruit smoothie. The fruit, the water content in the fruit, and the liquid used in the smoothie helps to hydrate our bodies. If we become dehydrated, we can be mentally fatigued, we can have lightheadedness that causes us to be dizzy and faint. We can even get some painful muscle cramps. So we want to make it our goal every day to make sure we're nice and hydrated so we can perform well in school, in our sports, and all of our other fun activities. Smoothies are great for an on-the-go breakfast, a post-workout drink, or just a hydrating snack. The options are endless with smoothies. You can do a ton of different flavors. You can get creative in whatever smoothie you'd like to make. Did you know that you can do make ahead smoothie packs? You can pick whichever flavor of smoothie that you want to have, put them in a Ziploc bag, throw it in the freezer, and then you have a smoothie ready to go to throw into the blender whenever you're in the mood. This makes our breakfast routine a lot quicker and simpler on busy days, it makes our post-workout drink, we have a lot of healthy, simple variety, and then we just got snacks ready to go on a hot day. By having these ready to blend smoothie packs in our freezer, we have healthy hydration at our fingertips all the time. Today, we are going to be making four make ahead smoothie packs. We are going to be making a pineapple mango smoothie, a strawberry peach smoothie, blueberry grape smoothie, and then a berry smoothie. To make our smoothie packs, we are simply gonna grab a Ziploc baggie, and then all you have to do is get your ingredients assembled. So we're gonna start over here with our pineapple mango smoothie. So we're gonna add a half a cup of pineapple to our baggie, and I just grabbed pineapple shortcuts from Hy-Vee because that makes it nice and simple. And pineapple is a great source of manganese, and manganese helps our bodies to metabolize protein and cholesterol. So it just kind of helps us metabolize some of the foods that we're eating. So we're gonna throw in some pineapple here, about half a cup, and put that over here. And then we've got half a cup of mango. And so mango is fun, because when you cut it, it kind of looks like this on the outside. You can cut it and pop it up like this. I always think it kind of looks like a little porcupine, but then that's how you shave it off. So half a cup of chopped up mango. Mango is very high in vitamin A. Add that to our baggie. We've got half a cup of bananas. Bananas are great in potassium, and potassium is good for our heart. Then we've got one tablespoon of ground up flaxseed. And flaxseed isn't gonna change the flavor of our smoothie too much, but it is gonna add some heart healthy fat and some fiber in there. So I'm gonna zip that up. This is gonna be what we throw in the freezer. Then we have half a cup of pineapple juice and one container of plain Greek yogurt that gets added when it gets put into the blender. So we're not gonna add that to our baggie. So we've got one pack made. Then we're gonna do our strawberry peach smoothie pack. So we've got half a cup of sliced up strawberries that we're gonna add to our baggie. And strawberries are excellent in vitamin C. Vitamin C kind of helps boost our immune system. And then we've got half a cup of peaches. And peaches are just really delicious and juicy. So they're gonna add a good flavor to our smoothie. And again, we're gonna give half a cup of bananas. Bananas are really creamy once they're frozen and then blended up, so that gives good texture as well. Then we're gonna zip this one up. And then it has an unsweetened cranberry raspberry juice, half a cup. And then we've got another container of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And that Greek yogurt is gonna add good protein, good calcium, and it's gonna make our smoothie creamy. So we've got our second little pack made up there. Then we're gonna load up our blueberry grape smoothie. So we've got half a cup of blueberries. We're gonna add that in. Blueberries are really strong at antioxidants. They've got that nice deep color. Then we've got some red grapes. You can just toss those in there. Grapes have something called resveratrol in them, which helps our body to fight disease. And we have a tablespoon of chia seeds that we're gonna add on top here. And chia seeds are really, really little seeds, but they pack a big punch. So they've got good fiber, good protein, good heart healthy fats, and they can hold three times their body weight in liquid. So when they're in your tummy, they kind of form a gel so you feel very full after you eat them. 
And then this one has some unsweetened pomegranate cherry juice, half a cup. And then this has, again, another container of that plain Greek yogurt, okay? I'm gonna add that there. And then our last one over here is just a berry smoothie. So again, we've got our strawberries. And that vitamin C not only helps our immune system, but it also helps us heal any wounds we might have. And it helps us to absorb another nutrient that's called iron. And iron helps us transport oxygen in our blood. So if we don't have enough, we can feel pretty tired. So you wanna make sure that when you eat iron rich foods, you have high vitamin C foods like strawberries. Then we've got half a cup of raspberries. Raspberries are a really good source of fiber. Fiber keeps us full. Another tablespoon of that ground flax seed. Again, it's not gonna change our flavor very much. You probably won't even taste it at all. It's just adding a little nutrients in there. We've got some crushed ice, half a cup. And then we've got a um, container of vanilla Greek yogurt. So that one's gonna be a little bit sweeter. We're not gonna add that now. We'll add that whenever it comes time to blend it. But again, that Greek yogurt is going to make it nice and creamy. So texture-wise, it's gonna be great, but then it also adds strong protein so we can build our muscles up and it gives us calcium for strong bones and teeth and probiotics, which help our tummy to digest the foods that we eat. So we've got our four smoothie packs. I am going to take them and I'm gonna stick them in the freezer. Now that our smoothie packs are good and frozen, you can take them back out of the freezer. We use fresh fruit in our smoothie packs. You can absolutely use frozen fruit if you'd like to. Frozen fruit is picked at its peak ripeness, put in the freezer so it has all the nutritional quality and it even sometimes is a little bit more affordable. So it's totally up to you whether you wanna use fresh or frozen. But now that they are ready to go, all we do is we add them to the blender, we put our liquid, so either our juice and our yogurt in there, and we blend them up. Now that our smoothies are all blended up, I challenge all you kids fitters out there to make your own make ahead smoothie packs this week. You can follow along with these recipes or you can get creative and make your own smoothie packs. Then you can enjoy them for breakfast, as a snack, or after your next practice or game. Take a picture, tag us, and let us know what healthy ingredients you've blended up. Thanks Kids Fit All-Stars for tuning in today to Hydration Station. We'll see you next time.